I go to the movies. Yeah. And uh, this one, it was at the Ragtag. And um, it was, wasn't really scary, but it's kind of bloody. <laughs> but uh, it's supernatural. And I saw it at the Ragtag in this movie. It is called, You Won't Be the One That's Alone. Silly girl. But, um, yeah, so... The trailers really... I saw the trailers a couple times, and it really made this movie out like it was gonna be, like... Kind of one of them new serious horror movies. But, uh... It's pretty serious, but... I mean, there's definitely lots of blood. And there's some pretty gory stuff going on. But it isn't scary at all. <laughs> but, uh, it is the movie. I'm trying to think. It's basically, it's about like a witch in olden times. You know, they, the word they kept same was like Wolfenester or something. So I don't know if this is like a form of a werewolf or something they were trying to say. But I don't know. But the basic plot is that there is a witch lady. She lives out in the wilderness. She eats the bunny rabbits. And she wants... Uh, a baby because uh, one of these witches powers is you're able to pass it on but you can only do it once the becoming one of these witches you can only do it to one person so she wants like this baby but the mom's like oh don't take the baby let me Raise her till she's a teenager, and then you take her or something. So, <laughs> I don't know what to do about the spoilers in this. It's kind of hard to talk about the themes without... So, I'll just talk about this, what, the, this beginning part, really. So, a little bit of spoilers for this beginning part. So, the witch lady agrees to the deal, but... The mom, she has no intention of actually giving up the kid. So she, like, puts her kid in this, like, old abandoned church cave to hide her. So it's like, the witch can't get you if you're in the church cave or something. So basically, this kid has zero human contact except for the mother. She never ventures outside of this cave. And it, it makes her developmentally delayed, obviously. Because she doesn't have the experiences and interactions with other humans that the normal children would have. So she's a little dim because of this. So. As, as you know is going to happen. The, the witch does actually, is actually able to enter this church and she gets the girl, you know. And it is uh, revealed shortly after that you're able, the switch lady is able, one of her powers is she could shape shift into animals or other people, that sort of thing. So, and that's all pretty gruesome because it's real bloody. It has to do with like taking organs and stuff out of one person and putting it inside of your own body and then you become that person. Or animal. That sort of thing. That's all gross. You know. But. So basically it's. This girl using this. Power. You know. Learning how to be more human. Is basically. The, <laughs> the third. And I won't tell you all the twists and turns. And all the stuff that happens. But that's that's basically the plot. 
so this movie, it is not really about being a witch. It is not about being scary and terrorizing the townsfolk. This movie is really about <laughs> overcoming, like, generational trauma and, and overcoming, uh, social issues like misogyny and, you know, the different ways men are treated in society and women are treated in society and, you know, the children's and it's about, it's about falling in love and becoming a whole person and all this sort of stuff. But it's not really a scary movie at all. <laughs> now that said, because that's really all about the marketing. And the marketing made it seem like it was going to be scarier than it was. So, that aside, and that it is not a horror movie, per se. It was, it was well done. And it's interesting, you know, the themes? The themes are really what the movie's about. So, and that was interesting. I'm sure, you know, the people that are upset about... You know, the trans issues and stuff, they're going to be upset about, you know, being able to change into whatever you want, that sort of thing. But that's what the movie is, you know. <laughs> so, but yeah. So really, it's just kind of a, an exploration into what being a human is, is what the movie is. <laughs> so... It's a pretty heavy theme. Oh, and it's from a different country, so it has the words at the bottom. Just so you know. Some of that was very poetic and interesting looking. You know. So. I mean. Since it wasn't what I was expecting, it's not like a real exciting movie. You know. It is about, you know. It, it's like trying to make you think, and it's trying to make you feel things and stuff like that. So, that's the kind of movie it is. Just so you know. But overall, I mean, it was well made. The only real problem is that, like, the witch lady... The makeup suit, and it's, it's a full-body makeup suit. And... When it's shot full body and full daytime light, it doesn't look good. <laughs> so this lady has obviously had some sort of fire issue. She basically looks like Freddy Krueger <laughs> is the thing. And the makeup looks about the same as it did back in those Freddy Krueger movies in the 80s. So that, So, you know... When it's in the dark and it's in shadows and she's mostly covered up, it looks okay, but whenever it's full daytime out in the open, it's not very good makeup. <laughs> but other than that, the movie the movie was pretty good. So But that's just my opinion. And my opinion doesn't matter. And your opinion doesn't matter. We just put our opinions on the internet, you know? It's what we do as a culture. And no one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, those are my thoughts and opinions. Thrown on top of the thoughts and opinions pile. Soon to be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions. But for what it's worth, I thought it was alright, you know, for what it is. They did a good job for what it is.